What's going on, smart people? Today is a very special day. Pi Day, sure, but take a seat. More importantly, today is Albert Einstein's birthday. Now, to be honest, I had other plans for how I wanted to celebrate his birthday today. It ended up not being possible to make in a day, so I guess I'll hold that off until next year. So today we're gonna to be taking a quiz on Albert Einstein. You might be thinking, Andrew, nine months ago, didn't you make a how well do I know Albert Einstein quiz? Isn't this kind of the same video? No, no, it's so it's super different because this one's how well do you know? It's different, okay? It's different. That would, uh, let's just get started. Let's just jump right into it. As always, I know I haven't made one of these videos in a while, but I will leave a link to the quiz in the description so you can take it along with me. Let's just jump right into it. Get started. Einstein officially became a citizen of the United States in which year? I thought that this was going to be more about things that he did and not history. Um, does it say history? It probably just says it right there somewhere. Uh, Einstein officially became a citizen. I have no idea. I don't know dates. I don't know dates of anything. Um, but let's see. General Relativity was published in 1915. I, he could have like a worker's visa, I guess. I think he was working in the United States at the time, maybe not. But I wouldn't think he would wait that much longer to become a citizen. But this is just a guess, I don't know. It's 1930. It's not 1930, 1939, okay. Interesting. I wonder why then. I wonder what he was doing then. By the time of Einstein's death, the FBI had collected more than 1,400 pages of information on him. They understood none of it because it was all equations. However, in all of those pages, they failed to detect his romantic relationship with which Soviet spy? I call BS on this quiz. I could have... He dated... Wasn't he like married to his cousin or something? I know, I know it was a, a type of family member. Was that person also a spy? Well, if it's a Soviet spy, uh, that's not, that's not Russian. That's not Russian. That's not, it's gotta be this person, Margarita. Interesting. Our boy Albi played the field a little bit, uh, but I know he dated his cousin or he married his cousin or something. I don't know. I know nothing. True or false, when Einstein was a child, he failed math class. I don't think that's actually true. I think, I, someone told me that whole like, when, when Einstein was a kid, he was no Einstein. I think that that's false. I think he was always pretty smart. I think this is just what people tell themselves to make them feel better when they do poorly in like math or something. I, yeah, so I think that this is false. Well done, you're not fooled by urban legends. So get on up out of here, urban legends. So far I'm doing pretty well. I missed when he became a citizen. I think that's the only one I've missed so far. At age six, Einstein started playing which instrument? I know that it's the violin. I don't know why I know that. I think I've just seen one too many Einstein documentaries, so I am the authority on all things Einstein. I kind of wish these problems would be like, how is the curvature tensor related to the metric? Just throw a really like actual tensor calculus, like general relativity question your way. Uh, what year do historians refer to as Einstein's anus <laughs> uh, 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 his year of miracles. What year? Um, I know this. Let's see. Let's get some context clues. 1915, that's GR. Uh, 1910, I don't know of anything spectacular that happened then. 1905 was special relativity. And I think before special relativity, he was working on like Brownian motion stuff. Uh, and then I think he focused almost exclusively on the relativity thing. So, I think it's going to be either 1905 or 1910. But I think it would probably, well, I don't know of anything really that happened in 1910, so I, I doubt it's that. I'm going to say 1905. You got special relativity, knocked that one out of the ballpark. You had, I don't know when the photoelectric effect, when he did that. I don't know, but I, I'm gonna go with 1905. Yep, that was a great year. I wish there was a little bit more. This is what he did that made it such a great year. Let me know in the, in the comment section what made that such an anus mirabilis year for him, because I don't know. I'm ignorant. Which of Einstein's theories establishes that nothing can travel faster than light? Uh, general relativity, special relativity, expanding relativity, light relativity. What about the law of attraction? Uh, it's special relativity, for sure. Uh, which article of clothing did Einstein grow to despise? Sweaters, boxers, socks, and shoes. I get kind of a socks and sandals kind of guy from Einstein. 
Hmm. So if he, if he rocked those, I have no evidence to back this up, by the way, but assuming he rocked some socks and sandals, that would maybe be because he doesn't like shoes. Sweaters, I've seen so many pictures of him with sweaters. Maybe he got tired of them though. This one's, this one's probably the toughest one yet. Boxers. I, d I doubt it's that one. I doubt it's that one because I don't think that'd be information you volunteer to other people, or at least if you're Einstein. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna say shoes. Yeah. Who doesn't like, oh. Nope, turns out Einstein wasn't a fan of socks. Who doesn't like wearing socks? That would make me so uncomfortable to be walking around in shoes barefoot and just getting your shoes all smelly. Uh, and Einstein's famous equation, E equals MC squared. What does the C stand for? Mass, energy, momentum, speed of light. We all know this one. It's the speed of light. It's also not the full equation. Yep, you're good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Einstein's private letters revealed something about something new about him more than 30 years after his death. It turned out he had an illegitimate daughter, had ties to communist organizers, was deeply in debt, and ki killed a man. <laughs> what? What is the, the uh, proof that there's no local hidden variables, so you gotta kill John Bell or something like that. Um, had ties to communist organizers. Well, we already know now that he had an affair with a Soviet spy. Uh. Hmm. I know, I think the Soviet Union technically counted as fascist, I think. Maybe it wasn't, I don't know. I, I haven't taken a history class in like five years. So I get all these words mixed up, but it, it, it's close enough. Close enough, had ties to communist organizers. Scandal alert, he had an illegitimate daughter. I'm doing terribly at this. I'm sure everyone is passing me. Like, you didn't know about his illegitimate daughter, Bertha, Bertha Einstein. After his death, which organ was removed from Einstein? He's had a weird history. <laughs> this is way bad. I don't remember what the other quiz I actually talked about or the questions I answered, but I think I'll remember this one. These are some interesting questions. Uh, after his death, which organ was removed from Einstein's body without his family's consent? His heart, his brain, his liver, and his stomach. Okay. First of all, if you're going out of your way to steal a body part from Einstein, knowing you're just invading his body and no one told you it was okay to do, who would go for the stomach? What could you possibly get out of that? Out of analyzing his stomach. Ah, yes, we always knew he had the stomach of genius. Uh, it's got to be the brain. I, it's probably not because every other time I've been relatively certain in this, I've been completely wrong. But I think the brain is a safe bet. <laughs> Everything else, it's like, what could you get? Liver? Like every every scientist is so stressed that they have to drink a lot. I don't know. Brain, it is. Okay, thank God. 17 years after he published his special theory of relativity, so that would be uh, 1922, yeah. Um, Einstein received the Nobel Prize for his discovery of the photoelectric effect. What took so long? So he received the Nobel Prize for the discovery. Uh, someone told me, I, I think I know this one too, I think people were very anti-Jewish anti when distributing the Nobel Prize. Um, news travels slowly then, uh, yeah, 17 years, I don't think so. Other physicists found holes in the theory. Einstein initially refused the honor and the Nobel Committee's prejudice against the radical physicist. Well, I don't think it's the third one because I think uh, Einstein, when he was married, wanted to get a divorce. And then with the divorce, he said, if you let me divorce you, I will give you the prize money that I get for winning a Nobel Prize or something like that. I, I almost know some Einstein history, but everything else has to be like followed with a, I think, or I'm not entirely sure. The Nobel Committee's prejudice against radical physicists. So I think it might be this one. However, I disagree. because I don't think it was just because Einstein was too bold. I think they might have thought he was a little too Jewish. And they might just be fluffing that up a bit. That's at least what I heard, was that it was very anti-Semitic. It's a sad statement, but it's in, it's a correct one. Okay. Uh, question 12 of 15. Einstein was inspired to pursue science at the age of five after his father showed him what? I know that this one is a compass. Why do I know that? 
I don't know, but I know it's a compass. That's right, it certainly pointed him in the right, you just had to hit me with a pun. I point him in the right direction. What is the punishment for the man convicted of plotting to kill Einstein in the 1930s? Why would anyone want to kill Einstein? He was such a pacifist. Yeah, I know uh, Lee Arzilla or whatever convinced Einstein to write a letter to, what president was it? One of the Roosevelt's, let's just say that, um, to fund nuclear research. But I, if everyone credits Einstein for being like, oh, he is the father of the atomic bomb, which is, which is bullshit, don't believe that. He wanted nothing to do with the atomic bomb. Um, what was the punishment for the man who plotted to kill Einstein in the 30s? Death, a fine of $6, 15 years imprisonment, or one year of hard labor in Siberia. Okay, the process of elimination. It's not death. I don't think you're gonna be killed for not killing someone, even if you were plotting. Uh, a fine of $6, that's a weird number. 15 years of imprisonment, that sounds more believable. One year of hard labor in Siberia. The only reason I could see that possibly being an option is if the person plotting to kill Einstein lived in Siberia and then got found out. Mm. Ah, ah. But Einstein had an affair apparently with a Russian spy. I'm gonna say 15. 15 years to plot to kill someone? You don't even get 15 years if you kill someone sometimes. I don't think it's that. One year of hard labor. So I think it either has to be a fine of $6 or one year of hard labor in Siberia. A fine of $6 in the 1930s, would that be a lot? I don't know if that's a slap on the wrist or if that's like, wow, that was rent. Probably, I'm sure it wasn't that, but I just don't think it was that. Um, a year of hard labor, such a random place, but it, maybe it fits. I'm going to say one year of hard labor, but I'm not confident about any of these, to be honest, except for I'm pretty sure it's not death. Check my answer. Nope, if you can believe it, the criminal was just fined $6. I'd, I'd be interested to know what that scales to nowadays, if that's really just not a lot of money in the 30s or if that would have been something, you know, that would actually be a hit, I don't know. Uh, in 1939, Einstein wrote an urgent letter to the US President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, urging him to develop the atomic bomb, design plans for a space elevator, <laughs> send men to the moon, and establish the National Science Foundation. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's gotta be develop the atomic bomb. I'm trying to remember the context of the letter it was just one documentary that I saw on YouTube where everyone understood that if you're shooting like protons together, they're gonna repel each other. And the, if you're trying to split them, so you're, if you're shooting with X amount of energy that has to overcome like a Coulomb repulsion, that's just not gonna be an efficient way of splitting atoms. And then I think Lee Artzilla was like, ah, Einstein, but neutrons exist too. And then it's easier. And the Germans are working on nuclear research, I think. So I think that's how they persuaded Einstein. So I think it's gotta be this one. And it is correct. Yeah, but he, he was he, he was a nice guy. He wasn't like, I wanna, you know, be really cool blowing up a bunch of people. I don't, our boy Albie wouldn't do that. What is considered Einstein's masterpiece? The theory of everything, the theory of light, the theory of relativity, and the theory of atomic energy. Um, I mean, it's obviously the theory of relativity, but just to look at the other answers that the theory of light, no, that would kind of be like, maybe Maxwell's equations or something. Uh, theory of everything. I know that Einstein worked on that towards the end of his life, but it's definitely the theory of relativity. So how well, all in all, did I do with this Albert Einstein quiz? What did I miss, like three? Right, you're a real brainiac, aren't you? What are you being sarcastic? Oh, 11 out of 15. Um, Smarty Pants, you know more about Einstein than the average Joe. So I got an 11 out of 15. To be honest, I thought I would do more, but I get my history mixed up and I'm not particularly good at dates, which is uh, not a good combination for a history quiz, as it turns out. Let me know in the comments section how you guys did. Happy birthday, Einstein. Einstein, be sure to leave a like in the video and share and stuff like that. I'll see you guys in the comment section.